So Jay, what are we making today? We are making perfect protein cookies. Now what is a perfect protein? That's a protein that has all the amino acids the body needs. Um, so usually what makes a perfect protein is a combination of uh, an oat or a grain with either a legume or a nut of some sort. So what makes these a perfect protein cookie is that we're using old fashioned oats. And this is one and a half cups of oats. And we're going to use a third cup of whole wheat flour and a third cup of regular all-purpose flour. Three quarter teaspoons of uh, baking soda. Mix those up. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. We're melting unsalted butter, six tablespoons worth. And you just put it on low heat because you don't want to burn the butter. That takes a little while. Now that the butter's melted, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to add um, one cup of uh, brown sugar. And so you kind of add a little bit at a time and you whisk it. Look how pretty that looks. And it smells amazing. Buttery, sugary goodness. It's really the only bad part of this cookie. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a cookie without it. <laughs> okay. It smells awesome. All right, so now we're gonna mix the wet ingredients, the dry ingredients. So put that in there. This is the one lightly beaten egg. Put some muscles on you? Yep. It'll seem kind of dry, um, but that's okay. It's supposed to be that way. I'm going to fold in um, one cup of chopped walnuts. Now it's a perfect protein. So as you go along, it's going to get harder and harder to mix. Um, so this is in the Three ounces of dark chocolate. And last but not least, this is um, one cup of dried cranberries. You can use raisins or any kind of dried fruit you want, but it adds a little bit of tartness to the whole thing, which I like. That's a different. Look at this, it's really quite dry. And when we, when we start to scoop it, it almost seem like, oh my God, is it gonna hold together? But every time you bake it, it just all kind of um, gets together in a cookie. So don't be worried. So I'm greasing two cookie sheets um, with unsalted butter grease can. And each cookie should be about a tablespoon size each. So we're going to preheat the oven at 350. Oh, it's already at 350. And while that is preheating, we're going to start scooping the cookies. So again, I just take my one tablespoon little measuring spoon and I just scoop it up. mush it in there. And then you get a little cookie. So even the, though these are uh, perfect protein cookies, 
we actually don't need as much protein as um, most of us thinks. There's a protein myth. Um, most Americans on average are taking in three to five um, times more than what you actually need. Uh, so, and too much protein in your diet is actually not good. You end up with kidney stones and kidney problems and um, various things like that. So, how much protein do we actually need? Only about three to five percent of our meal. We need about, uh, if you're a full-grown man, you only need about 58 grams, which is about two and a half ounces of protein a day. Mm -hmm. And if you're a woman, even less. So two ounces of protein a day. And, go ahead. Although I've heard that women who are breastfeeding or are pregnant might need a little bit more. Um, but, you know, there are lots of athletes, actually, who are vegetarians and do just well. Um, there's like a four-time Mr. Universe winner that is vegetarian and he's got lots of muscles. Joe Namath, another famous vegetarian athlete. I'm not quite as good at doing this as, as Judy is, but uh, I'll give it a try here. So you get about 32 cookies, thereabouts. And so I'm gonna put the first tray in the oven. Set the timer for uh, oop, 13. Well, those look really, really beautiful. They smell great. Okay. <laughs> mm. Dark chocolate, dried cranberry. Really a good crunchy, soft on the inside like it's supposed to be. I mean, these may be like sort of good for you, <laughs> but they're definitely good tasting. So, healthy food doesn't have to taste like crap. The danger is you end up eating the whole tray. Probably not as healthy if you do it that way. <laughs> My danger, she would never do that. <laughs> it's great with some coffee in the morning too. So you start off with some protein. Um, with your coffee in the morning. That's how I like to eat them. I can feel a protein surging <laughs> through my muscles now. <laughs> mm. Protein. Wow, I got a lot of extra protein, so we'll see you guys later. This is Jeff and Judy signing off. Bye!